No my hi to my key Pukakoe. Hello and warm welcome to Navigation Home Stadium, where the home side counties Manukau host the visitors from the capital Wellington in the final match of the week two in the Farah Palmer Cup Premiership. Just tapped down, but they have to race back to then go forward. And the referee says numbers. Numbers in the line, guys. Five on four. Good variation there with the numbers with Wellington. We've seen full line outs now shorts. Again, quick tap there again from Afue. Yeah, and the referee's eating the calculator for breakfast this morning. She's counting, all right, there's Wellington go through the gap. Ferguson puts her ears back, pins her ears back too. He's there, but the offload to Yoani. And Harmony Yoani opens the account for the visitors. Quick play from them. They always wanted to play with tempo this game, and this just seeing Taylor Ferguson glimpses of her mum, the daughter of black friend Julie Ferguson. Where did she come from? And managed to get that last pass off to Harmony Yoane. What a great start there. Wellington puts points on the board. And here we see it's just a simple pass, but she puts pins her ears down, puts her foot straight, real direct running from Taylor Ferguson. Very Ruby Tui, close enough, but it's the offload. And Harmony Yoane dots down. Yeah, it in. Scrum was under all sorts of pressure. Some decoy runners and then the big pass out to Yoani, the try scorer. She gives it to Letainga. 52 tries, make it 53. Boy, they're running some beautiful support lines here, Wellington, and they extend their lead. Uh, look, the scrum wasn't perfect, but they, man they managed to secure good front football. And it's the backs and the movement. It was Yoani there that peeled that magic inside ball with the wraparound. Leti Inga in the corner. You're not going to stop her that close to the line. Copeland into the arms of Mulu. She loves running with ball in hand. Nine carries last week for 60 metres. Counter's good. Nothing on for Afui, so they come back the blind side. Tackle release! Coming up from fullback. I think it was Felnati again. Nanwu with a dummy! Nanwu! Challenges the fullback and gets around and scores. Oh, just opened up like the Red Sea. And through goes the Wellington captain. And we've seen that before, haven't we, Willie? Look at the awareness of hers as she had the player inside. She chose to look up. The county's player fell for it and she just opened up and beautiful striding to the to the goal line. See, it's just that inside pass there from, or the option there from Ferguson. And then it's a slight swerve to the right of Hazel Tubic. But it was all Ngan Wu. Full line out, they've got a drive here. County's Manukau, they win the ball and bring it down beautifully from Birch. Now they all swing around the corner. They start to put on the drive now. Ngano out of Manurewa. She sees that there's a gap there. Does she chance it? Does she does? Charging towards the line. Can't get it down because Afui, the halfback, has held her up. Bucker calling for the forwards to get a little bit more involved. The pick in. Challenge from Brown. Four short. Stay up, Black. Red, stay up. Move, Ayono. Please, tackler. Up high and eventually gets the body down. Steed. Steed. You can hear that. Hold it out, hold it out. Referee goes looking for a better position. Says it's a try. She's given it to Steed. Here we go, we see Ayono takes it up, and that she's up a little bit high, she gets down low, and it's Steed that gets the meat pie for County's Monaco. Got the advantage, Black, high tackle. Again, that physical approach of Pangai, on this occasion she holds onto the ball. Advantage. Gets the penalty, the pick and go through the middle. No, well again, she's going to pick up a double. Oh, the captain is on fire today. Captain Courageous, she looked up again. What an awareness from her, her ability to just look up and sneakily pick up that ball to get across the line. She's done it again for the Wellington Pride team. That smile on her face, she deserves it. It's almost strolling over the goal line. Forwards now. Looking to get involved. This is better, Ngangok. Places the ball. Polisi 
He's come on trying to make an impact from the bench. And also Tofa throws a couple of dummies and goes through the gap. Tofa now just one to beat. The kick and chase. How's the bounce? It's Klein for County's Manica. No, Wellington get back. And the penalty of holding on to the ball on the ground. Nice football skills shown there. County's Manica want the ball. Terry will tap and go. Plenty of numbers out to the right. Instead, they tuck it under the wing and over she goes. Stead picks up a double. We can see it really came off some messy play here. Ball not going to hand everywhere, but it's here. You know, so she just pins her ears back straight down the middle. Has a little goosey, kicks and chips in behind. It's this play here. She loses it to the Wellington Pride team, but it's a penalty. Ruby to a quick pass. Lauren Stead over the goal line. We dot down there for County's Monaco Heat. Scrum will dominate here. Vaka clears it. Tui in behind. Throws the big wide pass. It's, it's the story of the County's Monaco Heat's yeah, lives, it isn't it? It's this left hand no, no, wing. Uh, they just haven't been touched. able to connect with their last Strong passes, particularly on this left hand edge. Through the boot of Landon Lane. Hasn't found touch. Tui returns serve and it's going to fall into open space. Tui with the chase now. Won't be quick enough to get there though. Go on. Go on, drop it. Quick passing and Aumua almost stole it. Did the Wellington number eight. Been a lot of that penalties on the ground and they want to get on with the ball. Paresi gives it a little wider out to Fanini Lolo. County's Manukau rolling the sleeves up. Desperate to get the next try. They've got another advantage. The pick and go. A new advantage. Bucket releases. Tubic. The miracle pass up and they're going to score. Glory. Ayono goes over. Glory Ayono. She does it again. Vaka finds Hazel. Glory gets her mitts on the ball. She pushes over the centre there. Great work for County's Manago. We've got game on. Again, using the fresh players that have just come on in Schwolga. Boy, she is driven backwards by Peresi. Reaching from Copeland, but it's nice hands. Letting up. Beats the first and second. Letting up. Boy, she's just slipping through those tackles and getting over the advantage line. Tui is there at the breakdown. Wellington still have possession. Vaka stretching the calves, so they're defending with just 14 players here. County's Manukau. Ball is there. Lete Inga scored one try in the first half. Lete Inga looking to close it off for Wellington, and she does it! Aisha Lete Inga finishes it off for Wellington Pride. You can see Ruby Tui, she was in it, throwing everything in it. But Aisha, man, she beats one person, two people, three. Pumps those legs, she's really hard to stop, and they did not stop her at this point. She dots down for Wellington Pride here, and it really is all her. She still has a lot of work to do. She picks off the back of that ruck, beats one, beats another. Counties don't want to tackle. And she scores. Better performance from Wellington after the loss last week against Canterbury. They really have stood up and wanted to be counted today. Every single player from 1 to 23 has done their job magnificently. And they'll just kick it out here and take the win. And history has been made. Wellington have beaten counties for the first time in their history in Pukekohe. And an epic encounter. The Wellington Pride have won by 27 points to 19.